This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10 in the KJV. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. That same verse in the NLT. Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Everything I plan will come to pass, for I do whatever I wish. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in whom the world has ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. To call upon and be saved in these last and troubling days. You must call upon these names when you pray. You must call upon these names when you are in distress. You must call upon these names when you bless. A brother, a sister, those of the household of faith. Call upon these names and you shall see the power thereof. Now the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, Yah meaning he, hawa, meaning exists or is or is to be. He is, he exists, he, the existing one. And in the name of his only begotten son, a name above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first and also to the believers to call upon to be saved, consisting of women and children, helps of the prophets and those that are of the household of faith. The name Yahawashai, Yah, meaning he, Hawashai, meaning deliverer and savior. Call upon these names. These are the proper names of the Most High, the Almighty One, the Holy One of Israel, and His Son, His only begotten. The Lamb to take away the sins from the world, the world of Israel, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering Lion of Judah. These are the proper names of the Most High and His Anointed One, the Messiah, the Savior. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, the expressed image of the invisible power. Call upon these names. So, Lord's willing, this is an edifying lesson. Lord's willing, I call this lesson. Though it tarry, it shall surely come. Though it tarry, it shall surely come. All right, don't kid yourself. Yahweh Bashi Mashai is of his word. Let every man be a liar, but let the most high, Yahweh, be true through his word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Hey, the word says it. We read it. Let's read it again. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. NLT once again, only I can tell you the future. The Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, now this is beautiful. The brother uh, Amon Gabar up top, I'm going to play a little bit of his clip. He's going in and I'm going to get uh, an article that I received from the, uh, the, the, the other beautiful brother, you know, uh, the up and coming elder, you know, the brother Karataza from uh, Las Vegas. Much love to that brother. He, you know, he had the article. I'm going to grab that and uh, bring it into this lesson and, and we're going to bring it home. Call all Yumla, Yahweh Shai for our teachers at Great Millstone. The water for the brothers, man, that are growing in, in spirit and in truth under the tutelage of our spiritual fathers. As Paul was a spiritual father unto Timothy and gave him a charge and he was a head over a church. Uh, back then, I believe it was the Church of Ephesus, but now you got brothers over different churches and congregations bringing out the truth and only the truth. 
We ain't just here to tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans you're an Israelite and have a nice day and live your life. No, we're here to tell you that you're an Israelite. And when and when you find out that you're an Israelite, there's a very great importance placed upon you. You uh, 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 know what's coming. And if you're called to be a man of the Lord, you're going to have to blow the trumpet, warn the people. For if you do not, their blood shall be upon your own head. But if you do blow the trumpet, when you blow the trumpet, you wipe the blood off your hands and you have given our people warning. And if they do not take the warning, their blood shall be upon their own head. But you shall deliver your soul. So this is a very important thing that we're doing. All right. And all you other camps that are not speaking about this, and you know what I'm talking about, the MOTB. OK, we it's. I don't know where the hell all our videos are there in Esau's cloud, some goddamn where, but we dedicated a whole year, okay, coined by the Apostle Elder Tahar, I believe it was 2019, if I'm not mistaken. It was the year of Karagma, man. So we gave a whole year, that was thousands upon thousands yeah, of videos on this one subject, a very important prophecy before the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And where are those videos now? Unless brothers, you know, re-upload them, grab them, put them on other platforms and things of that nature. But a lot of those videos are gone. And we can't even mention certain words anymore. But yet, we have warned our people. And we will yet warn them until the day comes. And it will be the biggest I told you so in history. Okay? Not that we want to boast or anything, but... We have warned you. We have done what Yahweh Shemashah has commanded us to do. We have warned you from him because this is the Lord's test to see if you will keep his ways or no, just as he tested us in the wilderness. And a lot of our people failed. The only ones to make it through were Joshua and Caleb in that next generation. So only a remnant will return unto the mighty power. But let's look at this uh, title that the brother Amuan Gabar gave. If it were possible, and he grabbed that from uh, Matthew where it said, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, but it's not possible. This coming December 13th, uh, 2022. Now you go back in, in time to December 23rd, 1913. That's when the Federal Reserve was, uh, I think, enacted, if I'm not mistaken. So, hey, there you go. You know, they've been setting the stage for this, this overthrow. Now let's get this... Uh, Let's get to verse uh, 9. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, Bashim al and there is none else. I am power, and there is none like me. There's none like our power. The way he tests, the way he judges, the way he uh, shows his equity, his fairness, the way the Lord uh, cares for his elect, the way the Lord destroys his enemies. The way the Lord gives time and place, the way the Lord does all his things. There's none like our power. There's none other. Where's the idols? Where's Buddha and all this other crap? Where's Odin and, and, and the Jesus of Christ from uh, you pagans? Because that is not his name. Our Lord and Savior, his name is Yahweh Shai and his proper title is Hamashiach. That's who's coming at the end of this age. Not no Jesus Christ. Where are all these other gods and idols, so to speak, if they have any power, why have they not mentioned this very central thing that's going on in your world today? But yet the God of the Bible, Yahweh, through his expressed image, the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, gave us this truth through his servant John on the island of Patmos to reveal these times unto us, especially this time, the MOTB, that system coming into play. Was revealed unto him. Only our power. And our anointing revealed these things unto us. To give us the inside scoop. To warn us of these troubling days. But no other power. No other God have done this. No other book have done it. Or said it. Or expressed it. Only the Bible. This is Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the things I have done in the past. For I alone am power. I am power, and there is none like me. Woo! Yahweh Shai is power. 
If there is any other thing that has power that exists, that can be seen or not seen, who created it? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai have created it. That's it, man. Uh, let me get, let me get, uh, know the power. Okay. Cause you got all these, uh, so-called ministries, right? But they have no power. I, I don't give a damn about the boast. I forget how Paul said it. He's, I don't give a damn about the boasting, but I'm on, uh, but the power thereof. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. First Corinthians 4 19. But I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. Woo! So if you got anything to say, we don't give a damn about your speech and what you say and your nice big words. But we're going to know the power thereof. What's the power behind what you're saying? We have power behind what we're saying because it is true. The truth that had been so long without fruit shall be declared. Mm. Sit. Here we go. First Thessalonians 1 and 5. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, right? The understanding and in much assurance. Woo! As ye... Know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. Beautiful. That's beautiful, man. The assurance, man. That's the beautiful uh, part about it. Okay. Now, this is 1 Corinthians 4 and 18. Now, some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. Because we're going to come uh, 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 question you. Your apologetics, vocab, your other guys, your professors, your scientists, we're going to come question you in the spirit and power of your how about you, How are these things? So you didn't get this by your own power. Why are these things happening? Is it truly a C theory or are you really planning something that we already got the inside scoop on? We're letting you know what it is and you're bringing it to pass because this had been declared long ago. Okay. 1 Corinthians 4 and 18, NLT. Some of you have become arrogant, thinking I will not visit you again. And we, we constantly come to our apostles, our elders, brothers, bringing out the articles, jumping on you, doing a, 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 doing a, a response to all what you, you devils are saying, what you apologists are saying, and all you other clowns that use this Bible, but you don't know nothing about prophecy. You want to go to love this and love that, but you don't know that the love... Uh, uh, that the, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, loves his creature. He had to get on Ezra about that. Like, hold up. Don't think that you love my creature, which is his people, more than he does. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows the one third. He knows the two thirds. He knows all Israel. He knows everyone. He knows who's going to take the chip and who ain't going to take it. He knows who's pushing the truth and who's not. He knows who's uh, giving their all and who's half-assing. He knows who's uh, has the 100% truth and who has a uh, goddamn 80% and keeping the 20% away from the congregation because they want fucking money. But guess what? The money system is about to come to an end. You other camps out there. How about that? What's going to happen when that day comes? And you can't get your goddamn money no more. Then what? Your ass is going to be lost. Your ass is going to be speechless. And your congregation is going to seek to kill your ass. But really, Esau Edom is going to kill you. Because you ain't you ain't trusted in the Lord. So the Lord is going to give you over to your own ruin, man. First Corinthians 4 19. But I will come at and soon if the Lord lets me. And then I'll find out whether these arrogant people just give pretentious speeches or whether they really have Yahweh's power. First Corinthians 4 and 20. For the kingdom of Yahweh is not in word, but in power. We are the kingdom of Yahweh Bashimashah. The kingdom of Yahweh Bashimashah is within each of you true believers, you brothers, and you few sisters, but mainly the brothers because they show forth the power through the word. You speak into existence what is yet to come. 
More things have re been revealed unto you than men understand. <laughs> First Corinthians 4 and 20 in LT. For the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Shai is not just a lot of talk. It is living by Yahweh's power. That's why I'm not afraid to bring out the MOTB because it is by the power and it will be by the power that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will give us the victory. Okay, what I want to get, I want to get uh, something real quick. I want to get, uh, oh, the men understand. More have been revealed unto thee. The men understand because we understand it plainly. It's plain to them to have understanding, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. All right. The wicked shall not understand. Daniel 12. Okay. Mm. The men understand. What is that? 18. Bear with me, brothers. Hmm. Bear with me, brothers. All right. Hey, these are all good. Let me get it. This is Ecclesiasticus 3 and 17. My son, go on with thy business. And we're, we're occupying until the Lord comes. In meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved our people that are being approved and oh shit i don't want to go to no concentration go oh shit oh i don't i ain't gonna take that but we're letting them know what can combat that but you can say it now and 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 fall later same with the juicy juice that came the vanessa nessa uh you know the, the kool-aid that passed brother stood firm because what we were grounded settled rooted in Yahweh Bashim Shai and those that are also were rooted in Yahweh Bashim Shai that were approved did not take it, still have a job, still have their livelihood, still have a home because Yahweh Bashim Shai is keeping them. Those that, that that jumped and leaped and skipped and got scared and afraid, they 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 were they put themselves into a snare. The fear of man is a snare unto him. All right, but in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai, there is safety. Okay? So a lot of our people that jumped, skipped, and got the juicy juice, they're in a snare now through. E e either they're, they're paralyzed through, done, in the grave, in the spirit realm, messed up, effed up, on the street, done, out of there. Just, you, you're done. But those that were, were approved, man, you're beloved. And we're, we're uh, uh, loved. All right. Our apostles are loved by those that were approved because in their in their business, they kept it straight meat. They're giving it to you straight, straight. No chasing. Verse 18, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Yeah, we could have been just so great and eloquent like, nah, y'all got to uh, y'all got to pay us. Uh, here's my Patreon. Oh, you got to pay for the breakdowns. Oh, I, I only do debates. Nah, our apostles give it to us free. We give it to you free. We have freely received. We freely give. So everybody going to know in the end. They think it's uh, the purple garment guys or the Sakari or whoever the hell that's making your ass pay for nothing. You're paying for nothing, really. They ain't telling you every goddamn thing. All right. They're telling you what they want you to hear. All the glitz and the glamour and the bullshit. But we're telling you straight up, but a lot of people click off our videos or unsubscribe or whatever the hell. But that's on you. It's going to be to your detriment in the end. Ecclesiasticus 3 and 19. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. You see that? Many are in high place and had the platforms to do what they got to do. But hey, the meek... We ain't really got a big platform, but the platform we do have hey, is spreading is worldwide. And when this gospel shall be preached, then the end shall come. It says many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Yeah, the Lord reveals his mysteries unto the meek. His his prophets. For the power of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmashai is great. And he is honored of the lowly. Yeah, we honor the Lord because we have nothing in this world. We don't want anything in this world. We wait for the world to come, the kingdom that is yet to be.
the kingdom that is within us, the kingdom that is so close you could taste it, the kingdom that is right there. But we only have a few prophecies standing in our way. And we have to bring, uh, we have to tell our people of these prophecies so the end could come. But a lot of you other camps are holding back. You're afraid you want this ugly ass world, but it's fading from you. And you're going to die just like Lot's wife. Your ass want to turn back. You want to hold on to what is already gone. So you will be destroyed with this place. Straight up. This is Ecclesiasticus 3 and 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right, we are not reaching for things that are impossible. We're reaching for things that are actually accessible. These things will be achieved because Yahweh Bashim Rashai said so. And even in the midst of these evils will the Lord keep us from the, these said perils by our works and by faith, wherein we shall be uh, uh, saved. Ecclesiasticus 3 and 22. But what is commanded thee? Think thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Uh, this sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. But we understand the things that are done in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are showed unto thee than men understand. See, more things have been, have been shown unto our elders, our apostles, brothers. Then other men, then men themselves understand, like, no, no, I don't believe that. Oh, no. You're going to put a, a grain of rice thing in, inside me? No, I don't believe. But now we're getting to a point where, where your ass will get a fucking shot, not knowing what's in it uh, uh, for, for your job. So how much more for that same job, your house, your livelihood, where you live, where you stay, your, your pension, your future, your children's future, the future of your wife? Will you not do it for this grain of rice? You know you will. Because you did it for some goddamn Kool-Aid. You will do it for this grain of rice. If you have not uh, a backbone, if you have no foundation, if you're not rooted and grounded, you will fall. But we're here to warn you. Do not fall a victim to this man's lies. Though his words are smooth as butter, war is in his heart. Because really, I mean, he's already destined to be destroyed. His, his, uh, his fate is set in stone. All right. But yet he wants a lot of you Israelites to fall with him. He already knows his end is destruction. But you take the grain of rice. Your end is destruction with him. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised. But turn back. It is in the Lord's uh, mind that none shall perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of the truth. Only the elect will come to the knowledge of that truth. And the rest shall be damned that believe not the truth. Okay. Is Ecclesiastes cuss 3 and 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. That's when the, 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 the truth is going to be hidden, which shall hide itself in the secret chambers. Okay? That's when it's going to go dark, and, and uh, uh, you, you foolish virgins shall have no light, but the wise are going to have oil and trim their lamps. And turn them on brighter than ever. That's where we're at. The bride, a uh, great cry is heard. The bridegroom cometh. Go forth to meet him. And now you're at, uh, soon you, you, you foolish virgins are going to be at the point of asking the true men of the Lord uh, the, the answers. You're going to want the answers. You're going to want uh, the truth. You're going to want to uh, have that light. It says, without eyes thou shalt want light. You're going to lack light. You're blind. It says, profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. As you dudes think y'all know the breakdown of Revelation 13, you're breaking it down totally wrong. But your pride is not, uh, and your vain opinion is not letting you accept what is the true breakdown. This is Ecclesiasticus 3 and 26. A stubborn heart, a stubborn mind shall fare evil at the last. And he that loveth danger... You trust this man who is the man of sin, the man of perdition. If you trust him, you're going in a dangerous way because your end shall be fire and worms. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last. He that loveth danger shall perish. 
therein. The Lord already let you know in Revelation 14, your fate, if you take part in this man's system, if you receive his M to the A to the R to the K, if you receive it, you're done. Okay, this is Ecclesiasticus 3 and 27. An obstinate heart, an obstinate mind, shall be laden with sorrows because once you get it, you're going to be through. Bugging out, oh, oh, why? Oh, I got it. And then the people that got the juice of juice are bugging out. They have no immune system. They're done. They got the, uh, the monkey X. They got other things. You're just weakened. Why? Because your obstinate heart says, shall be laden with sorrows. And the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. Esau is going to get a lot of people heaping sin upon sin because he already knows he's going to be destroyed. But he wants to take as many with him as he can. That's why it says in, in Satan, as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, this man knows that he's already did his test runs, his plans, his uh, uh, his gradualism to, to see, OK, all right, I know this amount percentage of the people is going to do it. If I come out as a roaring lion, you know, all Esau Edom did was uh, growl in the dark with, with the with the Vanessa. And people got scared. Oh, there's a lion out there and got scared and ran. But yet this time Esau Edom is actually going to be on the hunt as that lion. All right. Satan, he's going to come after the workings of Satan and he's going to know seeking whom he may devour, man. It says, in the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. In the punishment of Esau, Edom, he is the proud. There is no remedy, man. Especially for those that join hand in hand with him. You're done. For the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. A lot of our people, the plant of wickedness have taken root in you. You are proud. Pride is the beginning of, of him that, that leaveth his maker. Okay. This is the heart of the prudent. That's the men of the Lord will understand the parable because, hey, when you read about the MOTB, it talks about the beast, the image of the beast, the MR, the, the M-A-R-K of the beast. That's all parabolic parables. But yet it's talking about a central thing, a power structure, the people that's ruling that power structure, their might and force and will that they have over the earth and over the people. But yet hey, you must understand these things. It says the heart of the prudent, mind of the prudent will understand the parable. And an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. You want those ears to hear that Yahweh Shai said. If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, hear. You want those ears, man. It says water will uh, quench a flaming fire and alms making it maketh an atonement for sins. And he that requited requited good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter and when he falleth, he shall find a stay so do what is good turn from this world turn from him that have continually smote the nations in wrath turn from him that that, that uh, has smiteth you with a continual stroke and turn turn from him he saw edom this man with his whip all right his policies and turn unto Yahweh Bashimah Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Only a, a, only a remnant shall return. A remnant shall return unto the mighty power, the mighty God. All right. So with that, uh, that's pretty much uh, it. Let's go to the book of Acts. Okay. Yeah. No other book does uh in no other book does it talk about what is to come. Okay. Alright, no other book. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna play this clip. Shalom. Canada is all over it. The digital currency, it's they're already doing it. Switzerland's trying it, Canada is all over it. My wife and I already seen a program on this where they've got like little clicks, you just walk right in and you can get this installed. Guess what it is? It's a chip that is injected into your wrist, into the palm of your hand. I am not bullshitting. 
look this up. Switzerland, there's there's a few countries already trying it, but our neighbors right above us are doing it. You knew Trudeau would be all over that shit. It's a chip in your hand, so you no longer carry any currency. Look at what China's doing. China's doing kind of a similar thing, and they can tell you what you're doing with your money. They know what you're spending it on. They control that shit. They can tell you you can't buy train tickets, all that shit. Identify you, but it's a chip in your wrist. Look it up. Digital currency, it's, they're already doing it. Switzerland's trying to get this. In yeah, that's it, man. So he, he told you right there, he said, then he said, China, they're doing that, that ish, they're doing that, you know. But let's go here real quick, and I'm going to play this brother. I'm on Gabar. I'm going to get into this article as well. All right, bear with me, brothers. You know, come on. What's going on? All right. Now let's go to, uh, we're going to go to the book of Habakkuk 2. I'm going to read both the KJV versions and the NLT. Okay. This is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And we'll watch to see what he will say unto me, what Yahweh Shemashah will say unto Habakkuk. He's watching, he's waiting. Same as us, Yahweh Shemashah gives us things in our dreams. We read the scriptures, we study, and we see them in the news, and we marry them with the scriptures. And we're like, oh. And then we go upon our watch, and we, we reprove our people. We warn them, we tell them. First, we understand it for ourselves. Like, oh, shit, this is it? This is it? Or this is a bridge, or this is a, a connection, or this is a the road leading to this particular scripture, or this particular uh, uh, prophecy. Okay, but that's what we're doing. Let me read it again. Habakkuk two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he Yahweh Bashmasha will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved, because we we were reproved. Oh, sh you know, like damn. We have been uh, uh, complaining that the Lord uh, speed up these days, that the Lord, how long, oh Lord? But now the Lord is, is bringing into play uh, uh, what he had pronounced long ago. And we praise him. We praise Yahweh Bashimashah because it is nearer than when we even believed our salvation. This is Habakkuk 2 and 1, NLT. I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. There will I wait to see what the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai says and how he will answer my complaint. That's right. This is the Lord's second reply. This is Habakkuk 2 and uh, 2. And the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, the tablets. All right, now it's been written in scrolls. These words are faithful and true, have been written in paper, prophesying to my people the words of prophecy which are faithful and true. That's what we're doing. The vision is plain unto us and we make it even more plain and easy to be understood uh, 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 to our people. Okay. But let's, we're going to, we're going to read what the, uh, what the NLT says. It goes even further in plainly. Let me read that again. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashah answered me and said, write the vision. So without vision, the people perish and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. It's just like a, a messenger running with the correct message. It said that we have the shod of the gospel, the preparation of the gospel uh, uh, shod on our feet. We're ready to run this gospel. The whole gospel. We have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of Yahweh. Yet, it is, yet it's good news. Yes. We have to tell you the evil preceding the good. The good cannot come unless the evil is uh, planned. How, how's that go? Let me get that real quick. Uh, let me get, uh, was it planted? Okay. The Apocrypha. Okay. Hmm. Okay, bear with me, brothers. Okay. 
go? How's it go? How's it go? Bear with me, brothers. All right, I'm back, Akim. This is it. Second Edges 4 and 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So before the kingdom, before the, the peace and, and rest and honor and glory, in a world of righteousness and new management and a refreshed earth, before this could come, the evil must come. The bad must come. The Lord is a balanced power. He must uh, uh, bring uh, one with the other. He can't have one without the other. Okay? Call all your mind, y'all, Bashim Let's go back to Habakkuk. All right? Now, this is Habakkuk 2 and 2 in LT. Then the Lord, Yahweh Bashim said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. You see that? The correct message message not any message the correct message a lot of you 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 uh, uh denominations you pagans i'm gonna call you pagans because you're not christians you're not the anointed ones you don't follow the messiah you don't do nothing all you say is love love anybody can say that i can go to a fucking buddhist temple and they can say love and tranquility and peace and go my friend they can say that all these other places can say love and tranquility and hope but yet the scriptures talk about peace, hope, tranquility. OK, but it also gives you reality. It gives you reality. It doesn't give you a damn fairy tale and meadows with fairies. No, it gives you the reality of what's going on in your world. What has happened in the past, what has been declared from the beginning and what shall happen in the end. And then it gives you the categories where everybody will fall. The righteous, the wicked, the ungodly, the sinner. OK. The prudent, the foolish, it gives you the scenarios of all these people, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Japhites, the Hamites, the Israelites. It gives you everyone's place and where they will fall and what will befall them and what will be upon the earth and what will come and what will transpire. And what, it gives you everything. So all you people saying love and the love of God, uh, shut up, man. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Because anybody can say that, man. But it, it, it is really hard to give people bad news. That's hard, man. But you got to hear it. We heard it. You shall hear it, too. All right. Now, before I continue, let me get some real quick Hebrews. Let's go there. The same word that was preached unto us was preached also unto the rest of our people. But the difference is, is that it was not mixed with faith in them that heard it. See, we have faith that, OK, all these troubled times are coming, but we believe in our power. We believe in the God that saved Noah from the great flood. We believe in the God that saved Lot from uh, the fire that rained upon those five cities. We believe in the God that delivered his people out of Egypt, our people, our forefathers out of Egypt and destroyed the Egyptians. The same power that made our people to cross through the sea on dry ground and yet drown Pharaoh and his army that tried to pursue them. It's the same power, man. The same power that allowed Daniel to be uh, put into the lion's den only to deliver him, to shut the mouth of the lions. The same power that allowed the uh, 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 the three holy sons to be thrown into a fiery furnace, but yet preserved the flame, the smoke did not touch them. Not even the smell of smoke was on them. This is the same power. Come on now. But yet our people have not faith in this power. Oh, faithless generation. How long shall I be with thee? Yahweh Shai saith, man. How long shall we suffer thee? You know, this is Hebrews 4. And one, promised rest for Yahweh's people. Let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering in to his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Yahweh's promise of entering his rest still stands. So we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it. <sighs> Better tremble. This Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. 
For this good news, this is the NLT, that Yahweh by Shemel Shah has prepared this rest, has been announced to us just as it was to them. But it did them no good because they didn't share the faith of those who listened to Yahweh. <whistles> Got to listen to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You have to understand his great purpose, man. So, without further ado, I'm going to play this clip, Shalom, of this brother, the brother Amawan Gabar, Shalom. You know, they got, they got dupe. So, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, it will not tarry. You know, we in that time. We in that time, and just take a look around. Like, like we always say, take a look around. Look at, look at, look at the world, the state of the world today. It is way more evident now than ever, than it's ever been before that we are in the most... We in, the, we in the heat of the prophecies, man. We are in the heat of the prophecies, just boiling and burning and building up and and all of that. No no ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. So let me read some of these in this um, right here number that says, Any cash you now have saved outside of the banking system is invalid and will no longer be of any value when this process is complete. And that's interesting. So that means if you got them dollars, you know, in your shoebox or your mattress, then if it's not accounted for in the system... It'll be without value, you know, because that's one thing people uh, are doing, taking monies out of the ATM. So there's no, you know, bank, um, bank runs and all that other stuff that can occur. Or even the blackouts that we've been talking about. There's a blackout and no access to the ATM, no nothing. Can't go to the store, you can't swipe your card, no nothing. You would need cash or something tangible. All right. So a lot of people are holding cash which is bad for the banks because they depend on people having money in the banks. Ver, um, I was about to say verse two, but number two says, any digital currency you have in the bank may be turned off by government thugs for not obeying the correct party line. Total control, that's it. Demolition. Hey, demolition, man. He's about to mention it. That is Isaiah 15 and three. In their streets, they shall gird themselves with sackcloth. Now, this is what people did in the ancient world to, to represent Outwardly to everyone seeing them that they were in great mourning and distress and in a low state. This is Isaiah 15 and 3. In their streets, they shall gird themselves as sackcloth on the tops of their houses. And in their streets, everyone shall howl, weeping abundantly, man, as, as, as a homeless population. They don't know what to do with these people. They're just going to displace them, put them in concentration camps, FEMA camps. They're going to cast you people out. Into the cold, in the heat of the day. All right? Isaiah 24 and 11, there is a crime for wine in the streets. People are going to be looking for answers, but there will be none. And soon, the same people crying for wine in the streets, those answers, soon the streets is going to be filled with those taking uh, their power into their own hands, having swords, modern-day swords of guns, weaponry, and they're going to uh, destroy one another. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. <whistles> Cast the gold and silver into the streets. Where is that at? Mm. Bear with me, brothers. Mm hmm. Bear with me, bear with me, brothers. Mm. Amos 5 and 16. Therefore, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmashai, the power of hosts, the Lord, saith thus, Wailing shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, which means unfortunate. And they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such are skillful of lamentation to wailing. Yeah, because there ain't going to be nothing left. The husbandman, uh, he grows the crops. He, he produces. He's a producer. So all the people that's producing anything in this system, they're going to be through. They're going to be mourning. Such are skillful of lamentation. People just waiting for it, a reason to cry. Or are they going to cry about this when this system crashes and there's no more? Okay? Man.
Ezekiel 28 and 23, for I will send into her pestilence and blood into her streets. That's what's going on. At the very same time, this system is coming down. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh <clears throat> Here we go. Ezekiel 7 and 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets, actual money, things of value. But it goes to show you that this new system that they're bringing, whatever they say uh, doesn't uh, uh, account for money will not be money like the brother just read. It says, uh, number one right there up top, it says any cash you now have saved outside of the banking system is invalid and will no longer be of any value when this process is complete. This new system. Now let's read Ezekiel 7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They shall not satisfy their souls. You eat and drink, you're not going to be able to satisfy your souls without their money system being implanted within you. But for those of us that trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai, we shall have abundance. We will neither doubt nor be afraid for the Lord is our guide. And I believe that. Faith is the beginning of cleaving unto Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Have faith. It says, They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. <laughs> True stumbling block. Let me get uh, real quick. Sirach 27. It's going to come down to this. All right, it's Rock 27, buying and selling. It says, many have sinned for a small matter, and that's going to be literal, a small matter, a micro matter, literally, right? Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. From what? The laws, the commandments of Yahweh Shai, the, the, the crying of the former prophets, the crying of the prophets in these days. Are people going to turn their eyes away? They're like, oh, well, shit, they ain't got to know shit. Ain't nobody going to know that I'm going to secretly go get the Lord going to know, dummy. You know, the Lord's eyes see everything. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, even the most secret parts. It says many have sinned for a small matter, a eh? literally micro, right? And he that seeketh for abundance, you want uh, everything this life has to offer. You were, you were swindled by the image of the beast. Okay. It was good for food. It was good to the eyes, just like Eve, how she was deceived by the serpent. All right. It says, and he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away from the laws, the commandments, his power. Yahweh Shai, the men of the Lord, the former cries. All right. The, 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 uh, the, the abomination that make it desolate. Everything, man. They won't fulfill. It says, as a nail sticketh fast between the joining of stones, so that sin stick close between buying and selling. Just as a nail goes between the stones to join them together, what's going to join you to this man's system is that RFID, all right, the MOTB, the M to the A to the R to the K is going to join you to his system. Okay. Uh, let's read uh, number two. Any digital currency you have in the bank may be turned off by government thugs for not obeying the correct party line. See, in order for you to be truly joined unto him, you must be truly joined unto him. Esau, Edom. But we're going to join ourselves fully unto Yahweh Bashim Ashai, that remnant is going to join themselves fully unto the Holy One of Israel. They shall return unto the mighty God. It says uh, verse three. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. So you don't hold yourself diligently in the fear of Yahweh, your house shall soon be overthrown. Okay, let's play this. Play the brother. Man, it's you know, a very, very good movie to watch. You know, I enjoy that movie. And it's very prophetic. It's like a glimpse into the future. Three says, those selling precious metals for money will receive Biden bucks rather than cash. Those selling precious metals for money will receive Biden bucks rather than cash. So, I mean, look at that. You know, people who got gold and silver. They, I mean, because, uh, I mean, we'll see how it's going to play out. But, apparently, 
Well, scripture say gold and silver is not going to deliver you. You know, it's just, it's real money. You know, it's real money. So, it's good. Why not have real money? Yeah, that's the spirit, because I just mentioned, uh, well, I just brought up the scripture about the gold and the silver. And the brother said, that's real money. That's real money. It, has, it never loses its values over the thousands of years that it's been around, that men actually use it for what it's worth. It's never really lost its value. It can never lose its value. But this weak ass fiat paper money crap, it'll lose value because that's what it is. Just some weak ass paper, man. All right. That once was backed by real money, but it ain't been backed by real money since what? The 30s. So, man. And they're moving into a new system talking about Biden bucks. Says no Biden bucks, no food, rent, mortgage, cars, clothes, etc. Everything will be de uh, denied. Damn, there you go. Money ain't gonna deliver, period. But why not have real money? Federal Reserve is, 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 is an unjust weight and balance, you know. But I guess those who want to redeem their precious metals or whatever, gonna get Biden bucks or whatever currency. And again, this is all gonna lead to the MOTB. However, they presented at first is ultimately leading to the MOTB. Doesn't matter how they present it at first, but they got to slowly cook cook them frogs out there in that pot. The frogs are the people. It says no Biden bucks, no food, rent, mortgage, cars, clothes, etc. Everything will be denied. Hey, Amen. That's it. Habakkuk 2 and 3 for the vision. Brothers have been the apostles, brothers, elders have been talking about this vision. This vision, the MOTB, the M to the A to the R to the K of the beast. Okay, it is here. It's coming in. Okay. Nobody else can deny it. All you other camps, you, you, you true, sincere uh, brothers and you sisters in those other camps. Leave those other camps because they're lying to you. Death and destruction to the to your leaders, man. That's not telling you the truth. They don't give a damn about you, man. And that's that's fucking crazy for some stupid ass FRNs. It just goes to show you how low level uh, uh, these other leaders are, man. You low the hell. You low level, man. Straight up. But for those of you that have a, a sincere heart, take heed to these words, because if you will not, you will be destroyed. Take heed. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, where at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Why? Because it's from Yahweh Bashim al Shai, not from anywhere else. Though men are speaking this unto you and breaking these things down to you, where is it first found? In the Bible. Given from Yahweh Bashim al Shai unto his servant John on the island of Patmos. Come on, man. It says, though it tarry, though it's taken a minute, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. It will not tarry. Let's read in the NLT. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and will be fulfilled if it seems slow in coming. Wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. It won't be. It's Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold his soul, Esau Edom, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. This man is not upright in his doings, in his schemes, in his words, and everything. He is not upright. He is crooked. He moves as a serpent. A serpent does not strike you until the vibration is right. It feels the vibration. You know, most snakes don't really see. They're blind. This man, he saw Edom, he's blind to his destruction in the end. But he's gradually moving toward his NWO because he's feeling the vibration is getting closer and closer like a woman's labor pains before he makes his strike. Okay. This Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just, then it goes straight into the righteous. But the just, I mean, the Lord, the elect, that house of David. But the just shall live by his faith. It's reading the NLT. Look at the proud. They trust 
in themselves and their lives are crooked. So don't be a bamboozled or, or moved by them having an RFID opening doors with their hands. Their end is fire and worms. Their end is destruction. It says, but the righteous will live by their faithfulness to Yahweh. That's it. Barakatai Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's play the rest of this. And, and all they need is the proper chaos in order to make everybody fall in line with this. That's, that's all they need, man. It's the proper chaos. All right. So let me go to the scripture I quoted earlier. This is the book of Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false Hamashiachs or anointed or it says Christ and false prophets. They shall shoot great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And I'm glad the brother read that. But let's read this here. It says federal Register government it says ensuring responsible development of digital assets requests for comment agency department offices the treasury. All right. Summary. This notice invites interested members of the public to provide input pursuant to executive order 14,067 uh, of March 9th, 2022, ensuring responsible development of digital assets in particular, the department invites Input data and recommendations uh, pertaining to the implication of development and adoption of digital assets and changes in financial market and payment infrastructures for United States consumers, investors, businesses, and for the equitable economic growth dates. Comments must be received on or before August 8th, uh, 2022, which is already passed. It says you may submit comments via federal e rulemaking portal. All right, and all that. Okay, it's just uh, supplementary information. Uh, number one. All right, the background. Executive Order fourteen thousand and sixty-seven of March 9th, twenty twenty-two, ensuring responsible development of digital assets hereafter. Executive Order. Okay, blase blase. It says outlines principles, U.S. policy objectives. With respect to digital assets, these principal policies, uh, policy objectives are protection of consumers, investors. That's that. That's the smooth words and businesses in the United States, protection of United States and global financial stability and the mitigation of systematic or systemic risks. The smooth words again, uh, uh, Mitigation of illicit finance and national security risks posed by misuse of digital assets. Reinforcement of U.S. leadership in the global financial system and in, and in technological and economic competitiveness, including through the responsible development of payment, innovations, and digital assets. Promotion of access to safe and affordable financial services support of technological advances that promote responsible development and the use of digital assets. That's what the system uh, uh, they're going to bring. The smooth words. Remember the smooth words, but yet war is in his heart. See that? And you got general risks for it, but they ain't really going to give you the, the risk too much. They'll give you more of the the you know, the, the pros than the cons. Okay. All right. And you got a whole lot more, you know, they're bringing it out. But it is what it is. Let me read a couple of these. It says, general risks in digital asset financial markets. Please identify and describe any risks arising from current market conditions in digital assets and any potential mitigating factors identifying any such response that directly relate to market transparency, including pre and post trade transparencies, accuracies and re, uh, reliability of market data, techn technological risks, including attacks, bugs, network uh, congestion, smart contract design and security, settlement and custody, jur jurisdictional and legal conditions, says risk to, to consumers, investors, and business, businesses. Please identify and describe potential risk to consumers, 
investors and businesses that may arise through engagement with digital assets identify any such response that directly relate to frauds and scams. That's how they're going to get most people. Well, you won't, they won't be able to scam you or fraud you. All your information will be with you, in you, by you, inside you, you know, all that crap. Losses due to theft. There ain't nobody going to be able to steal your wallet or your money because it's going to be on you. It's not what's on you, it's what's in you. <laughs> but that's what it's going to be. It says losses of private keys. You're going to be able to open your car and other things of that nature with your hand, with your arm, with your mind. And all this crap, man. It says losses from the, uh, from the failure, insolvency of wallets, custodians, or other inter uh, intermediaries. Potential losses associated with interacting with counterparties directly. They're going to let you know, oh, well, nobody can hack you. Nobody can get inside and all that and all of that. So they're going to make it look real pretty. Now, that's pretty much it. Brother's still going in. I'm going to play the rest. And Esau is going to show a lot of signs and wonders. He's already He already is. He's already shown a lot of signs and wonders and miracles and miracle breakthrough, technology breakthrough. Having paralyzed individuals, getting brain chips and learning how to walk and talk again. And just many different things, which all ties into the MOTB system. All right. False prophets. You know, you got false prophets all over the place in every sector and religion. All right. And it says, ultimately, the point, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If that's a big if, that's a big if, if it were possible. But it's not possible because Yahweh Shah prayed for the elect. The Lord, the Yahweh Shah said in John 17 that. They are thine and thine are mine. You know, I pray that you take them not out of the world, but you deliver, you, you, you protect them in the world. So the elect is covered. The elect is covered and the elect shall not be deceived. No matter what, even when things get chaotic and we look like we in, in some extreme crisis, to be trusting you, Bashmel Shah, we can't wait, man. All right, we can't, can't wait. wait. We cannot. So we can't wait, like the brother said. Let me read these uh, scriptures and then I'll keep playing it. And uh, get the last few scriptures and close out. This is uh, Psalm 10 and 15. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Esau, Edom, his power structure, its system. We're asking the Lord to break it, destroy it. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh and read. No one of these, the prophecy, shall fail. None shall want her mate. No other book can give you the same uh, uh, play for play breakdown of the prophecies, what's coming in your world, what's happening in your world today, what's going to happen, what has happened, what is history. No other book can give you that but the Bible. It says, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, Yahweh Shemashah, I have commanded these things. Spoken into the ears of the prophets, and they, through his spirit, wrote these things down. And his spirit, it hath gathered them. A, uh, uh, our sons, the sons of, of, of Israel, Yahshua Allah, are gathered from east to west by the word of the Holy One. But not only the sons, but the daughters as well. Driven to repentance, driven to return to Yahweh Shai. All right. Isaiah 41 and 17, when the poor and needy seek water, and that's uh, spiritual water first and foremost, but how much more for physical water when, when we're cut off from this man's uh, society because we refuse to take his, uh, the sea hip. Will not the Lord hear us? When the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, will hear them. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. Woo! Call all yimla. Yahweh Shemashai, none of his ways. And I'm going to get uh, the man in the other clip mentioned China. All right, China is pretty much leading the way with this digital crap. But the Lord said he's going to destroy China. He's going to destroy Babylon. He's going to destroy you ugly ass uh, Moabites, you ugly gooks. He's going to destroy you, you demons. All right, you know better than this devil, Esau, man. All right. Choose none of his ways. Mm. Bear with me, brothers. Oh, man, that's it. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. We're not supposed to envy this man. Let him have his, his punk ass chip. Let him have 
uh, uh, his NWO, what he think he going to have. Because we know in the end, we know clearly that the Lord is going to destroy this man. So let him have it. All right. But no, Jake wanted to, I want to be, I want to be seen. Okay. Be seen and be destroyed. You will be seen. Hey, and, the, and, 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 uh, and, and we shall behold with our eyes the reward of the wicked. So we will see. Everybody going to see you. Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All of you that, that join hand in hand with this devil. Every, everybody going to see you. It's going to be broadcast the destruction of Babylon. The righteous is going to see with their eyes the reward of the wicked. Nuclear fire, man. So you're going to be seen, Jake, if you don't turn back. Proverbs 3 and 31, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, man. See it? I'm going to read these few and I'm going to close on out. Hey, it's going to get really bad when society is cut off. But Yahweh Shai will be our guide. Even unto the end. All right. Second Edges 15 and uh, 58. Modern translation. Well, actually, I'll start. Uh, man. Here we go. 46. This is uh, Second Edges 15 and 46. You, Asia, are to be pitied. You are doomed. You have enjoyed the splendor and glory of Babylon, America. You have imitated her and dressed up your daughters to look like prostitutes to please and gratify your lovers who have always lusted for you because you have imitated that vile prostitute and everything she has done or planned. Yahweh Shimasha has this to say. I will send disaster upon you. Same way I've been in America. I will make you a widow and send poverty. It's happening in America. It's going to happen over there among them uh, Moabites. Famine. Is over there. Hey, the Lord is doing these things. You look at the news, that's exactly what's going on. War is coming. And epidemics to destroy you there. The certain viruses and things are popping up. The CV came from over there, right? So it's an epidemics, right? To destroy your homes and bring ruin and death. Same what happened in Babylon. It's like a, a mirroring in effect. What happens to one will affect the other, right? The Simeon Circle. It says the power of which you boast will wither like a flower with the burning heat is sent upon you, nuclear fire. Because not only Babylon is going to be hit with the missiles, but China and Russia and these other places, European nations is going to be hit. All nuclear power nations are going to shoot missiles and have missiles shot on them. The difference is, is that Babylon is going to be completely destroyed, a memorial of what not to do. The rest of these lands are going to be replenished by the fire. New lands and, and greenery and fertile uh, 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 lands will be formed. OK, it says the power of which you boast will wither like a flower when the burning heat is sent upon you. You'll be a wretched, weak woman, so bruised, beaten and wounded that you will no longer attract your wealthy lovers. And that's exactly what's going to happen. America, as, as happening to America, is also known as a, a woman, a harlot, beaten with the stripes. And also China is being beaten with the stripes. Of Yahabashimashai that nobody's going to be able to receive you at a time. It's going to be to a point where it's going to be all out war. You're going to have to shut down and close your borders. You're going to have to keep your goods for your own citizens, and your own people. But the Lord, even then, is going to send great wrath upon you. You and Babylon and all you heathen. I would not punish you so severely, says the Lord, if you had not murdered my chosen people. The way you Moabites hate our people, you hate us just as much as Babylon does. The Lord is not going to uh, uh, leave you unpunished. It says, but you took great delight in striking them. And when you were drunk, you boasted about killing them. Paint your face. You will be paid for your work as a prostitute. You will get what you have earned. You will pay. I will pay you back. Yahweh is going to pay you back, says the Lord. Yahabashimashai, for what you have done to my chosen people. Okay, for, for uh, three transgressions of Edom, for three transgressions of Moab, and for the fourth, the Lord is going to send uh, a punishment. It says, I will bring disaster on you. You will be put to death, and your children will starve. Your cities will be torn down, and the people 
out in the country will be killed. What happens over there will affect what happens over here. Same going over there will happen over here to a severe, to a severe point. Verse 58, those in the mountains. So if you want to uh, get out of Esau's system, you ain't going to be like the, the men of the Lord, the, uh, the elect. Said the Lord said, we're going to have an abundance. The heathen shall envy us, but sh shall be able to do nothing. But those of you that think you smart, you a prepper. OK, I'm just going to flee the mountain. I'm going to flee to my cabin or whatever the hell. Lord's going to uh, snow your ass in in the mountains or keep you up there and kill you up there. It says those in the mountains will starve. Their hunger and thirst will drive them to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. You will be more miserable than any one has ever been. But there will be still more punishment to come. <laughs> the army that destroyed Babylon will march back through your country and devastate your peaceful cities. They will destroy your beautiful uh, country and leave most of it in ruins. Your country will be destroyed like straw in a fire. Nuclear fire it goes to, to show you. You're going to be a bundle of sticks, faggots. You're going to de be destroyed. It says they will burn up all your forests and orchards. All over your land, your cities and mountains will be covered with ruins. Your splendor will vanish. Your children will be carried off as prisoners. Your possessions will will be plundered. That's when uh, New Jerusalem comes down and takes over the planet. Your children will be taken as slaves. Your splendor will vanish. You're going to be carried off as prisoners. All right. That's what's going to happen. Call all your blah. Yah, Bashim Shai, man. But you you flee. And you don't want to be a part of Esau's system where you have to be, uh, when it says in, uh, those that will not worship should be killed. You go into the word killed. It means to be separated from the whole the body as a whole. Now, if you want to separate and be a prepper, or be smart, and 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 Yahweh is not guiding you, you're not an Israelite. You're gonna die in the mountains and hills or wherever you find yourself. You're gonna die in that situation because you will not uh, escape. Now I'm gonna end it here. Lord's one. This has been an edifying lesson. Okay, I'm gonna end it down below in seventy four. Okay, well, let me go to 40, and then I'm going to go to 74. This is 2nd Edra 16 and 40. Listen to my message, my people, and get ready for the battle. When the disasters come, you must live as people whose home is not in this world. We don't live here. We're not from here. We're not of this world, as the Apostle Gabar beautifully put. This is 2nd Edger 16 and 74, but listen to what the Lord Yahweh Mashai says, my chosen people. The time of terrible suffering is near, but I will rescue you. Don't be afraid or have any doubts. I am your power and I will lead you. If you keep my laws and commands, says the Lord Yahweh Mashai, you must not let your sins weigh you down or control you. And that's it. Envy not the oppressor nor choose none of his ways. So with that, giving all, wait, wait, before I do close out, ooh, giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. But before I close out, I want to get uh, this. That is not found in any other book. Okay. Let me get it. Uh, how does it go? Um, what's the word? How's it go? Uh, bear with me, brothers. Man, how's it go? Where is that at? Um, just put books in. I know it's an axe. Yep, there it is. X19. All right. That only this truth, these words are found only in one book. The book of Yahweh Shemashah, the Bible. Now, this is Acts 19 and 17. And this was known to all the Jews now, going into those exorcists that tried to cast out a demon through the name of the Lord, but the Lord did not truly know them. So they were overtaken by those evil spirits. All these evils that are coming, 
you people that do not truly know Yah Bashimashah, especially of our people, because that's, that's the only ones that the Lord is calling, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, you Israelites, if you do not come in the right spirit and do not truly believe, and I mean believe, these evils will overtake you, okay? It's Acts 19 and 17. And this was known to all the Jews and the Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, was magnified. Is, you're going to know all these things are happening through the spirit and power of Yahweh, the power of Israel, the Holy One of Israel. And Yahweh Shai is the expressed image, the anointed one, the Messiah of the nation of Israel. This is the story of what happened spread quickly all through Ephesus. To Jews and Greeks alike, a solemn fear descended on the city, and the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai was greatly honored. Because of what's going on, the MOTB, when it finally comes, the name of Yahweh Shai will be greatly honored. And those that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, uh, they're going to be sought for, looked for, you know, sought after. Men wandered at. This is Acts 19 and 18. And many that, be, and, and many that believed came. And confessed and showed their deeds. So many who became believers confessed their sinful practices. They're like, oh man, I don't want no part of this. They're going to have to really join up with those that have faith. Okay, in that time, like, God, I don't want no part of this, this grain of rice. I don't want that. Hey, what y'all going to do? with? Hey, I, I believe in what y'all believe in. I'll follow y'all. They will follow me even as I follow Mashiach, as Paul said. That's what mindset we going to be in. This is Acts 19 and 19. Many of them also, which use curious arts, brought their books, because none of their books let them know what the hell was going on. Only one book, the Bible, lets you know what's exactly going on. Many of them also, with, uh, which use curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. And that's a lot of money. Now it says, and a number of them who had been practicing sorcery brought their incan incantation books and burned them at a public bonfire. The value of the book books was several millions or million dollars. Hey, yeah, that's a lot of money. But they ain't gonna give a damn because it's gonna be a new system in the time when they finally discover what Yahweh Bashimashai has been saying this whole time through his men. And this is what's gonna happen, and this is where I'm gonna end the lesson. This is Acts 19 and 20. So mightily grew the word of Yahweh Bashimashai and prevailed. <whistles> NLT. So the message about the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai, spread widely and had a powerful effect. How much more when these things come to pass, especially this particular prophecy, the MOTB, the M to the A to the R to the K, how much more when this comes to pass will the word of Yahweh Shemashai prevail and grow mightily and have a powerful effect over the people. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kodash, by whom we do function, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David. To you brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. To you sisters doing that which is becoming the women, Shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say Shalom. Always when you have been edified until the next time I say Shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.